there after hours with a twenty two <laughs> and uh and a fire at rats. I, I think it's legal. <laughs> <laughs> So is that is that what's bringing you back then? To, you're coming to Calgary next. I can't believe you guys don't know about that. No, I mean I, I'm just new to Calgary, and this is this isn't something that's in the, oh, in the guide. I'll take you when I go there, man. We'll we'll have, we'll have a good old time at the dump shooting rats, <laughs> shooting rats and lighting fires. Jesse, do you have a 22? I'm in. I'm totally in. I'm not. Uh... You know the fire cooks the rats. Just saying. Oh, oh that, no, no, we're not going to do anything of that crazy. <laughs> we'll just get a we'll get us a bottle of Cherry Jack and head down to the to the dump. <laughs> Oh my wow, God. where do we take an interview from, from here? <laughs> we take it to the dump. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I guess that's where our show usually ends up. <laughs> so, so, so well, Nord- you guys, well, you guys play music? No, we're, am I right? It's a, we're, we're a comedy show. Yeah. Um, it, you've never heard of us before, before this moment? Are you on the computer? Are you on Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> we are. That's why everyone thinks we're assholes. <laughs> well, you can't say that, man. No, we can we can say that we're on yeah. late. We're on late. We're on late night. This is uh, anything goes. So if oh, the, really? Like if there's anything like ribald you want to get out of the way, I mean now is the time. Now is the time to do it. Our listeners just fall over themselves to hear that kind of stuff. Why? What's the worst thing you can say? The f word, probably. <laughs> Why did you say it? Why did you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not allowed to say it, but our guests are uh, are allowed. <laughs> I gotcha. Norm, you can get a little blue. I mean, we've heard it before. Um, all right. I will, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it right now, though. Wait to, like, surprise us with it. Okay. Surprise us with it. So, I mean, what can people expect, then, when you come to Calgary? Is this going to be stand-up? Are you going to be doing scat? Are you going to be doing impressions? I'll do what I like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that too early? So it's it's insult humor? <laughs> it's, no, it's, uh, no, what am I going to do? I don't know. I, I, I just do, I kind of just talk. Mm-hmm. Yammer on. <laughs> Sometimes it's remotely entertaining. Oh, you're really selling the show, Norm. Yeah, this is definitely <laughs> worth the sixty dollar ticket, Norm. Thanks. <laughs> now it'll be fun, man. People will be laughing. You bring a <laughs> what? Hey, bring your lady friend. Pick up a bottle of Cherry Jack on the way. <laughs> uh, you know, br- listen and. Uh, Everyone's welcome. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, you're in luck, though. This, this have, have, has anybody told you about the venue you're playing here in Calgary? No, I mean uh, it makes not like it is the Bellagio. It's called Flame Central, <laughs> um, like as in the Calgary Flames. It's the, not called Flame Central. The hockey team bought a bar, and and, and you were performing. <laughs> and, what? What? Yeah, and it's amazing. Like, there's no doorknobs at the place. It's just Calgary Flames logos that you pull on to open things. Wait, are you, wait, are you telling me the truth? I there's I'm, no no word of there's lie. no lie here, Norm. <laughs> like, what does that what does that do to your your art form? Do you think? <laughs> like, because I'm kind of I get embarrassed to walk through the doors of Flame Central. I can't imagine <laughs> what it'd be like on stage. <laughs> Oh my God! People, people be twittering me all night long after that. <laughs> after I do Flame Central, who's your manager? Fire him! <laughs> 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 wait, what? Uh, wait, so you're serious? What? It belongs to the Calgary Flames? Yeah, I mean, it, it, that, it belongs to the entire hockey team. Yeah, they kind of, they kind of, they kind of got went in on it together. It's almost like. Um, that bar that Wayne Gretzky used to own, uh, but it's owned by all the Calgary Flames. Wait, Wayne Gretzky owned a bar in Calgary? <laughs> no, in Edmonton. In <laughs> oh, okay, Edmonton. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've been to that bar. Did it, was it good? No, he went. Sorry, he owns it in Toronto. 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 Wayne Gretzky's. There's a Wayne Gretzky's in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, haven't you ever been there? No, I've never even heard of a Wayne Gretzky. It... I remember when I was in Edmonton, uh, I was at a bar that Wayne Gretzky was an owner of. But it wasn't called Wayne Gretzky's. But that's a good idea. That's like Mickey Mantle's in New York. No, not Mickey Mantle's. What do they call it in New York? Is it Mickey Mantle? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> We've never been there. Yeah, no, my dad always wanted to go to Jack Dempsey's restaurant in New York because uh, 
my dad was really old, you know, when he had me. <laughs> he had me when he was 50, but he, so he remembers all that old stuff. But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of that, I was, I, we were doing some research for this show, and uh, we, we, we were watching YouTube, of course, which is kind of our saving grace, and there was a story you had told about your father and Bill Cosby on David Letterman. Do you think you could uh, share that with us here right now? <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. That was when, no, I opened for Bill Cosby. Right. You want me to tell you the story? Yeah, tell the story. It was, it was terrific. No, I, was open, I opened for Bill Cosby at this college. So uh, there's 100,000 people at the college, you know, at the University of Oklahoma. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Yeah, for totally. sure. Like 100,000 people to see your show, Norm, or just... No, to see Bill Cosby. Oh, to see Bill Cosby. <laughs> I was opening for him. Oh, okay. So, uh, you know, it's a football stadium, you know? So they have this little tiny, like, stage, you know, and so I went up there, and I had my suit on and everything, and then I talked, and I'm like, no one laughed. Like, they were all just talking to each other. I don't think they even noticed me on stage, you know? And uh, uh, they didn't mind that I was on stage, but they, <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't boo or anything. I don't even think they saw me. So I finished my thing, and then I got off, and Bill Cosby came up, and he was wearing, and he, he go, and he talks like just in little. Uh, he talks like he doesn't use full sentences. So he said, "Why?" I was wearing a suit. He goes, "Why this suit? You know, suit <laughs> or something like that." So I said, "No, I was trying to show the respect." You know, Bill Cosby he goes, "College, wear the sweatshirt and the pants." You know, so he just had he just had a sweat a suit on. You know, so uh, anyway, he says. Uh, this shows you how good Cosby is. He's like, uh, he was asking the girl, like from the student union or whatever. He goes, "What's what, what's going on here?" You know. So she goes, "Well, next week we're playing Tulsa, and uh, it's a big game." You know. So then he goes on stage and he goes, he goes, "We're playing Oklahoma State." He goes, "Oklahoma State!" So everyone cheers, right? Then he goes, "Tulsa!" And then everyone boos, and then he says it slower. He goes, "Oklahoma." <laughs> And then everyone like goes crazy. Goes to stop. <laughs> he does this like six times, and the audience is going insane by the end of it, like cheering and booing. And uh, and at the end, he goes, "Next week I'll be playing Tulsa, and I'll be doing that bit in reverse." <laughs> yeah. And then he laughs. Everyone laughs. So uh, then he, they loved him. You know, they didn't even notice I was on stage, and. uh so anyway, then the show ends, <laughs> and then I'm talking to him, and I was telling him, because when I grew up, my dad and I would listen to Bill Cosby uh, albums. He would love Bill Cosby, my dad. So I said, my dad lo loves uh, you. He goes, where's your dad? Live. And I said, Ottawa. He goes, Ottawa. And then he turns to his, his uh, manager guy that was with him, and he goes, Maury, aren't we playing in Ottawa when... I thought the schedule. So then the guy goes, yeah. <laughs> he goes, we're doing it in, the, in August. He goes, yes, get, take the man's name down. And we will, and so then he says, I will meet with your father, take him back, and we will speak. And I will put him in the front because he will like to be and then after. And so just give, put the number down on the paper. So then, like, I write, go to write the number down, and it occurs to me that my father's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, 